Hi kiddos! I am back with another lab video. Today's lab is called The Big Bang Theory. We are going to read a little article, or you will read a little article on your own about The Big Bang Theory. But essentially what you need to know is The Big Bang Theory is in fact a theory. And to just go over one more time what a theory is, is it's something that has a lot of evidence to support it. It is not necessarily 100% true. Um, a lot of these theories that we have in science have a lot of support, but we can't know with 100% certainty because a lot of times we weren't there to see it. For instance, were any of us alive for the creation of our universe? No, we were not. So we don't know with 100% certainty how it happened, but we can use different um, pieces of evidence to try to piece together what we think happened. Again, this is one of the many, many, many theories um, about the world's creation and you do not necessarily have to agree with it or believe in it. It is just one example of a scientific theory, which is why we're going to do this lab so that we understand what theory means in science. So the Big Bang Theory is the idea that the galaxies were once clumped together and they slowly spread out and spread out and spread out and spread out over time. And it's this theory that the universe is continuing to expand and expand and expand and expand and expand until um, it, it's continually expanding until one day when the world would end. And there's a million different theories as well about some ideas of how they think that the world will come to an end. Again, these are theories. These are not something you have to agree with. It is just something that has support that some people believe may be what really happened or what will happen. But again, nobody can see into the future and no one can see into the past. So we don't know with 100% certainty, okay? So we're gonna use a balloon a measuring tape and a Sharpie for today's lab. And I'm gonna show you this idea of the Big Bang Theory. So I'm gonna start by blowing up my balloon with just two breaths of air. All right, I got a nice small balloon here. I'm not gonna tie my balloon, but I'm gonna wrap it around my finger so that the air doesn't escape. And I'm going to make six dots randomly on my balloon with my Sharpie. I'm going to make them nice and clear. So you can see them. All right. Now I have labeled one dot home. Oops, see, there you go. And the rest are assigned the letters A through E. They're just random. There's no pattern or specific place I put them. You can put them anywhere you want. But here are my dots. And now I'm going to measure the distance in centimeter from each dot to the home dot. And the home dot represents our Milky Way galaxies. And these other dots, A through E, represent other galaxies in the solar system. And we're going to see what happens as the the universe continues to expand to these galaxies. And by expand, I mean I'm going to put more air into the balloon and we're gonna see what happens to these dots. Don't forget to make your predictions before watching more in the video. All right, so now we're gonna start measuring in centimeters. I am gonna start with home and measure to A. Home to A looks like Kind of hard to do both things, huh? It is 3.4 centimeters. So I'm going to mark down 3.4 for time one for dot A. Then I'm going to measure from home to dot B. That one's really close. That one is 2 centimeters. Home to C. That one is 5.8 centimeters, a little bit further away. Dot D from home, that one's even further away. I'm looking at 5.3. And dot E is our last one, home. 
to dot E is 5.8. All right, and here are my time one distances or data. All right, for time two, I'm gonna put two more breaths of air into my balloon to inflate it a little bit more. I'm not gonna let the air that I already have in here go. All right, I got it a bit bigger. Again, I'm gonna wrap it around my finger so I don't let any air escape. And as you take a look, you can see that these dots have really spread out and gotten a little bit bigger. And now I am going to measure from home to A, which is 4.9, 4.9. Home to dot B is 3.8. Home to dot C, Ten point one home to dot D is nine point one. And home to dot E. Is nine point nine. All right, and here is my time two data. Notice that every number in time two is getting larger and the distance is increasing between each dot and the home dot. All right, time three, I'm going to add another puff of air or two puffs of air, I should say, but All right, I'm not gonna add too much because we still have several more puffs of air to get in here and I don't want it to explode on me. <laughs> okay, so now I'm ready to measure from home to dot A, which is seven point, I'm gonna say seven actually, seven on the dot. Sometimes they're a little hard to read. Home to dot B, 5.5, home to dot C, we got 14.5, home to dot D, Thirteen point four and home to dot E. Which is fourteen point two. And here is my time three data. And notice again all of the numbers have gone from time three, uh, from time two and time one. All right, two more puffs of air for time four. All right, again, never letting my air out, just adding to it, and I'm measuring from home to dot A. And that is nine, Nine on the dot. All right, home to dot B. Six point five. Home to dot C. Seventeen point three. And home to dot D, 
16.9. And home to dot E. Which is 16.4. And here is my time for data. Again, they have all gone up. My furthest dot is dot C, and it's really jumped further and further away from the home dot. From the home dot. All right, last time, adding two more breaths for time five. got a big old galaxy here, don't I? Our universe, I should say. All right, measuring home to dot A. Getting a little harder to see my dots. <laughs> it is 10 on the dot. That one always is on the dot, hmm. All right, home to dot B. Home to dot B. which is 8.1, home to dot C, which is 20.6. Actually, I'm going to say 20.7, a little bit closer to the 0.7. And dot D from home. Wow, dot D's gotten very far away, it looks like. 20.5. And last one, home to dot E. The dot E is 20.6. All right, and here is my last set of data. Sorry, let me get my finger off of it so you can see it a little better. And there's my data. Now, the other thing I want to tell you about is the Big Crunch Theory. Now, the Big Crunch Theory is a theory of how the universe may come to an end. And the Big Crunch Theory is the idea that one day all of the universe will ha get so dense and so hot and high in pressure and it's going to come all back in and it could form eventually a big black hole. And that would be the end of the universe. So one way we can simulate the Big Crunch is, which is all the galaxies coming back together, is... letting my air completely out. Now all of my dots are pushed back together. That would be one theory of explaining the Big Crunch. Again, I would like to remind you, theories are not necessarily 100% true. They have support and evidence to go with them, but it is all up to you on what you choose to believe. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.